What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Show. In 2022, Analog introduced their open FPGA developer program to the world, allowing for developers to create or port FPGA cores for use with the Analog Pocket, as well as future FPGA devices. In the months that followed, development ramped up immensely on all fronts, bringing a slew of various console and arcade cores for all to enjoy. One issue that soon popped up afterwards was core management. To solve this issue, two software developers known as RetroDriven and Matt Panella have stepped up, creating programs with the purpose of slipstreaming all core installs for a more pleasant experience. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of using RetroDriven's installer for Windows. Link to the tools and downloads in the description below. Getting started, you'll want to make sure that your pocket is updated to the latest firmware. If you need help with this, I've covered updating the pocket in my previous video. You'll want to have an SD card that is 128 gigabytes or more. This will allow you to get the full set of games for the current Open FPGA cores with some headroom for future additions. If you're starting fresh with a new SD card, pop the card into your pocket, then run the global reset. This will restore your pocket to factory settings and reinstall the basic Open FPGA file structure. With the SD card prep, head to RetroDriven's GitHub page for the updater tool. Click on Pocket Updater, then navigate to the newest release on the page. Click on pocketupdater.zip to grab the zip file. Create a folder on your desktop, then extract the contents of the zip within. Click on the executable file and start the program. Before you start the updater, you can choose which cores you want installed by selecting Manage Cores. Under Settings, you'll be able to toggle additional options. You can allow the program to download the most up-to-date pocket firmware and required arcade ROMs and console BIOS files. You may also allow the program to download any pre-release cores that may be available. Toggling Preserve Platforms will maintain your former settings if you have a previous OpenFPGA build installed. Delete Skipped Cores will delete any core you've unchecked in the Manage Cores section. Save your settings, then select Update Pocket. You'll be treated to a prompt asking you to pick your update location. You may select the directory the .exe file is in, or the drive for the SD card. In this example, I'll select the SD card. If you do not see your SD card on the list, feel free to click the green Refresh button. Upon clicking on the Update button, a status screen will appear and log each of the cores that are added. If you have older cores installed, the program will replace them with their latest iterations. Once installation is complete, you may check out Organize Cores. In this section, you may rename and recategorize each core. Finally, close out of the program and check out your new OpenFPGA build.
you may delete the .mra and readme files on the root as they are duplicates and unnecessary. Place all of your ROM files accordingly within each core's common subfolder within Assets. Here are the ROM extensions and their respective common folders they need to be in. In this example, I'll load up a ROM file for the PC Engine. Pop the SD card back into your pocket and power it on. Once you're on the main menu, you may now access your newly installed cores in games. You're now ready to enjoy what OpenFPGA has to offer. Be sure to check back and update your device every so often, as there is constant development occurring at any given time. I would like to give a shout out to Retro Driven and Matt Pinella for working together to create this tool. Matt also has an alternative pocket updater, which is useful for Mac and Linux users. I'll leave a link to their GitHub pages in the description below. If you like this video, consider dropping a sub or a like. Also, why not check this video out? Peace.